everybody, my name is Layla Perry and you are watching Behind the Scenes with Out Now. Castle has been such a special song for me as not just an artist but a person because it was the first time that instead of trying to write a song about a theme, I wrote a song for me as a reminder of things that I was realizing in my life. So. The whole song premise is about understanding that sometimes we put up these walls because we don't want to get hurt or heartbroken, but actually if you want to truly feel love and adventure and freedom in your life, that you have to be willing to risk. And I wrote it on my bedroom floor by myself and I just turned it into a melody, into a song, and then I recorded the vocals and in quarantine, this producer named Newport reached out to me and asked if I had any acapellas lying around. So I sent him that and the next thing I knew was he signed it to a label and here we are. <laughs> With Even Better, I was just trying to communicate different concepts that I knew to be true and it kind of talks about the juxtaposition of life and love like when you're in love it feels like time moves so fast and when you're missing somebody that you love it feels like it moves so slow and the concept of the song is that if you can just hold on through the thick and the thin that maybe you'll be able to find something that's even better and more special and I feel like it kind of goes against culture today, which is like numbers and swiping and all that. And it's like, what if you just decided to dive in deep with one person? Like, wouldn't you experience something that's even better? And for me, as an artist, it's been really special because that was the first song that without a manager at the time, PR, marketing, label, anything, Spotify just picked it up and started really boosting it by putting it on their editorial playlists and that was so crazy and special to me because it was one of my first songs that I've ever released. So. Artists who've influenced me the most are artists like Coldplay, Ryan Tedder, U2, artists that talk about real things, real thoughts and questions and challenges and emotions. I don't want to be a bubblegum pop singer who sings about stupid things. I want to talk about things that I'm actually going through and struggles and insecurities and hopes. And I feel like for me, that is where I find my purpose is if I can talk about my journey, maybe that will relate to somebody else on their journey. And who, the other person who's really inspired me is my mom. As cliche as that sounds, I've wanted to give up on music so many times and she always reminds me that actually this is my purpose and that if I thought about the moments that would give me the most contentment and um, feeling of doing what I should be doing, um, it's always music, so I'm grateful for that. So, Coronavirus definitely changed the course of my year. I was planning on touring the whole year and I was working with an awesome booking agency. And when the quarantine first started, the music industry just freaked out because so much of it is based on touring and events and shows. But I thought like, if that is the reality, there's nothing I can do to change that. So why not embrace it and try to adjust so i feel like the best things in life come from a place of gratitude and i just tried to be grateful for the fact that i did have this extra time to write and to work with producers and i've ended up writing so many new songs and releasing a bunch of songs and building my team and doing what i can with what i have and it kind of reminds me of that quote the grant me serenity to accept things I cannot change and courage to change the things that I can. And that's kind of my view on the quarantine. I have been
been really excited about the people I've been collaborating with. Um, I have some studio sessions that I've been doing with these amazing, massive artists that are international, and I feel like that's really exciting for me. Um, I really want to do a collaboration with a rapper. It would be my dream to do one with Black Bear. I have some top lines that I've written that I feel like are super good hooks, and I think it would be dope to have like a rapper in the chorus. So hopefully that'll happen. We'll see. That'd be fun. Well, what excites me most about being a singer is performing around the world. I've had shows in New York a bunch and in London, and I just want to do more of that. I want to see every culture and experience love and connection with every culture because it's amazing how similar we are. Our human needs are exactly the same no matter where we're born, what age we are. Uh, we all relate to the same desires of feeling love and connection and hope and security and adventure and all these things. And I feel like being able to sing in different countries would be a really special thing. So that's the goal. So there was a moment about three years ago, I believe, I was sitting in my garage and I called my mom and my throat was all choked up, I could hardly speak, and I was just like, Mom, I think I'm done, I don't think I'm qualified to be a singer, I feel like I've tried so hard and it hasn't worked out, so who's to say that the world owes me being a singer? It doesn't. So I was planning on just going back to my parents' house for a couple months and readjusting my career. And she said, why do, you, why do you want to be a singer? Like, what is the number one reason? And the only thing that popped into my mind was because of the ability to have human, deep human connection. It's like, if you're singing a vulnerable song on stage, it's taking away all the small talk and you're looking at these beautiful faces in the crowd and you're connecting because everybody feels the same things, as I just said. And that for me is really special. And because of that, I feel like social media is a really powerful opportunity because I found that even though I think we all think, oh, I need to be perfect, I need to be this to be loved, I've actually found the opposite to be true. Like the more honest and vulnerable and real you can be on social media, the more people will um, actually open up themselves and that is why I do what I do. So it doesn't matter if you're in music or if you're pursuing something else. I think the most important thing that I've learned is exactly that quote I said earlier which is there are so many things outside of our control that if we just felt peace and kind of let go of our psychological feeling of, oh, I wanna control this, if we just understood that it wasn't in our control, it would give us so much more freedom to control the things that we can and to um, do what we want, but not out of a place of like gripping it and needing to grip it, but out of a place of, I would love to push myself or be the best or pursue this or, I want to be this kind of person and the only way to be a person that's let's just say strong and courageous and successful is to actually go through all of the challenges. I feel like that gives you so much more gratitude and freedom to just mess up and keep on trying. So yes, that is the last question for today, but thank you guys so much for watching and I would love to connect with you on social media. So come say hi.